So then, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and give a big tanks, trucks and firepower welcome to our two drivers, Vic and Andrew. Vic is driving the vehicle up front, Andrew bringing up the rear. Both of these vehicles have been uh, refitted with diesel engines. They would have originally had a Jaguar racing couple So just like you saw this morning, ladies and gents, with the champ, same principle applies here. We've got six forward gears and we've got six reverse gears. So these vehicles can go as fast forward as they can backwards. Now they're very light on their feet, these vehicles. You'll see just how light they are in a few minutes time. But the pressure that these two exert on the ground is the same as you or I, ladies and gentlemen. They've got the same ground pressure as a grown man, which means they could technically run over your foot without causing you an injury. I haven't found a victim. I mean, volunteer to test that just yet. Okay, then, let's step things up, shall we? Let's uh, take these vehicles up and through the gears and show you exactly what they can do. Just watch it drop down into our trench here. All the way down and now all the way up. All you can see is sky right now. And teetering right on the top. These guys are professional drivers. Both of them are ex Albert employees as well. They know these vehicles. Inside out, inside down and back. Many forces around the world still at the ground. And very nicely done there by Andrew on the infield of the top. Nick is doing a quick lap round to the outside of the field. Now Andrew finding his foot down to catch up Nick, as you can see these probably going up to about 30 or 40 miles an hour around our arena. They have got themselves a bit carried away previously. Andrew really pointing his foot down there getting some proper leaning out of that Alvis. And here we are ladies and gentlemen, having cameras ready to show you just how light they are on their feet. Hard on the brakes, a pirouette around the I've been lucky enough to actually drive one of these vehicles and you can see a first person perspective of what it's like to sit in the driver's seat on YouTube. Just head to youtube.com forward slash You can watch that video right now. Now then, let's see what we're going to do here. So Mick turning round now to face Andrew. Andrew in reverse. Shifting up through the gears, you can see it jump into fourth gear now, using the wing mirrors. 
And Mick, bringing on the offensive at the front. Now these vehicles have got so close in previous years that the noses have just kissed one another on the way round. Thankfully we have managed to get some of the dust down in the arena because otherwise Mick bringing up the rear of those two vehicles wouldn't be able to see a thing at all. We're going to come back right now to the centre and we've just seen one pirouette around another half of cameras ready. And Andrew hard on the brakes, getting it to rock and roll over. Mick. Coming round the rear of the vehicle, just a few inches between them, and now watch as they go through the gears. A full lap around there by Mick. Now you'll literally see these vehicles jump as they snap through the gearbox. The first one back to the I do believe that Andrew is coming round his second corner, Mick still not quite there, they're on the bottom of the straight, Andrew is ahead by a little bit but Mick has now got the further to go around the side, Andrew running wide really arching that Alvis over but Mick has claimed some ground up here coming round his third and final turn as Andrew comes on to the main straight. And it is pretty much a dead hit later. It's going to fly past one another. And 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 it's going to fly past one another. Flying past one another, there's not much between the two. I do think Andrew is ever so slightly ahead, but Mick now flying up around the side of the arena. Andrew taking a bunch of straight line, then shifting to bring the vehicle nicely to the top of the field. Now, watch this, ladies and gents. Have you ever seen Kane's ballet dance? You're about to see it now. of the arena for now and they will start heading inside of the arena into the danger zone as you can see have your cameras ready for some loud bangs uh, before they were loud wait till you see what's coming next like Actually, they're going all the way down to the tank graveyard. Oh no, they are coming back together. So ladies and gentlemen, have your cameras at the ready as they are now going to go straight away through the centre of the danger zone. Be ready for some very loud bangs and explosions, ladies and gents. Here you go. Six or seven explosions there for you ladies and gentlemen, we're going to bring the two vehicles together. And two more, two more for you ladies and gents. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our two professional drivers and our CBRT pyrotechnic display. Now our two drivers will come round for a celebratory lap later and gents, so please do give them a very big wave. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together again for me, for Mick and Andrew, our two professional drivers. Have 
your ears cocked, you certainly will need it for this. Here we go, ladies and gents, your final good of the day.